In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare an acid solution to clean your catalytic converter. This is based on a study from the March 2006 issue of Environmental Science and Technology, which showed how an acid bath can improve the efficiency of an older catalytic converter. The acid solution contains citric acid and oxalic acid, each with a molar concentration of 0.1. You can get citric acid at Walmart near the canning supplies. Oxalic acid can be found in wood bleach, but some wood bleaches use sodium hydroxide instead, so be careful. You can do a search for the Material Safety Data Sheet, or MSDS, for that particular product if the contents aren't listed on the label. Each liter of solution that we mix will contain 0.1 moles of citric acid and 0.1 moles of oxalic acid, and the rest is water. Now, a mole is a unit of measurement equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It's often used in chemistry to measure the number of atoms or molecules of a substance. In this case, it refers to the number of molecules of acid per liter of solution. One mole of citric acid weighs 192 grams. One mole of oxalic acid weighs 126 grams. The wood bleach that I used contains 10% oxalic acid. So I'll show you how to calculate how much wood bleach is needed. The density of 10% oxalic acid is 1.035 grams per milliliter. That means that one milliliter of wood bleach contains 0.1035 grams of oxalic acid. Or, if we divide that into one, that tells us we need 9.6618 milliliters of wood bleach to get one gram of oxalic acid. If we multiply the molar mass of oxalic acid by 0.1, because that's the molar concentration we need, and then multiply that by the number of milliliters of wood bleach per gram of oxalic acid, that tells us we need 121.8 milliliters of wood bleach per liter of solution. Now, the citric acid calculation is much easier. We just multiply the molar mass of citric acid by 0.1. So if you want to make a one liter of the solution, you would use 122 milliliters of wood bleach, 19 grams of citric acid, and then add water until you reach one liter. To make a gallon, you just multiply those amounts by 3.78. One final note is uh, if your wood bleach contains more than 10% oxalic acid, some of them contain 95 to 100%, you're going to have to change the calculations here so you don't put too much into the mix.